Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Why doesn't 343 implement split screen into the Master Chief Collection on PC? I don't know. I think they're just so lazy and they have bad people who don't know how to do computer stuff. Just jokes. Brings back the memories, huh? I haven't tried this. Okay, so Firefly works too. Betrayal. Betrayal. Check, check, mic one. Everyone, my name is Alan Beginning, and today I'll be showing you how to do split screen co op on PC with the Master Chief Collection. This is a step by step tutorial, and there are things that you guys do need. Um, what you will need are two controllers. I think you can use a mouse for one player, but I recommend you using two controllers, either PlayStation or Xbox. Um, have a wire for each, unless you can do one wireless and another one by wire. And then you will need the DS4 Windows program. It's popping up right now. You just download it. I'll provide this link in the description. And you need to have two Microsoft accounts. These are free. Just make a Hotmail account. And then make sure you um, request an invitation or a friend request to each account. After that, you will need a program called Nucleus Co-op Program. Another thing you should know is that make sure your computer is powerful because um, you're running two instances of the Master Chief Collection to run Halo for split screen co-op. For me, I have two monitors, so I put one player on another screen and another on the other. Um, or you can do split screen, like literal split screen. You have one person at the top, one person at the bottom, like classic Xbox split screen. So um, we're going to get started here. I'll be showing you step by step on how to do this. So let's begin. All right, so let's start off with the important thing. Um, in order for split screen to ha occur, you just need your controllers. So with your PlayStation or Xbox controller, plug it into your computer. Um, download DS4. This will be provided in the description. If you head on down to this link, you scroll down where it says prerequisites. If it says you are P using a PS4 controller, download the DS4 Windows program. Click on that link. This should open up. Continue to external site and a prompt window like this will appear. Save it to your downloads wherever you want to save it. Okay, and let me open it up. Head on down to my downloads. You should see DS4 Windows. Right click on it and click on extract here. Once you extract it, you should get a folder that says DS4 Windows. Double click on that. Start it up. Before you start it up, it's going to ask you to install it. So I think you have to do the DS4 uh, program first. Install it. Restart your computer while your PlayStation controller is plugged. After you have it installed, open up the program. And hit start if it's not on start. Plug in your controller and it should work. Okay, and then my own are plugged in um, via Bluetooth. Um, you can do one wired and another one wireless depending on your Bluetooth dongle. After you have DS4 installed in order for your controllers to work, the next step is to create your Microsoft accounts. Um, like I say, you just go to hotmail.com, sign into that one and make another account and make sure you guys add each other as friends. To do that, to add each other as friends, search for Xbox, Xbox console companion and Windows 10. So I'm logged into one already. I believe this is Bogus Star 41485. So I have two accounts. It's going to ask me to switch. I have my Microsoft account and my Hotmail and my Gmail. Okay, so once you're in the Xbox companion, you're going to have to add that person. So for me, mine is this account and you have to search them up. So you search up the account, add them, and you should be set and good to go for this part. Now that your accounts are friends, the next step is to download the mod program. It's called the Nucleus Co-op Program. Click on that and save it to your downloads folder or your desktop. And the next step that you need to know is to find out where is Master Chief Collection saved. So this is the Nucleus Co-op. Um, extract it by uh, right-clicking on it and then extract to Nucleus Co-op. When you do that, it creates a folder with the programs in it so you don't have it jumbled out. And find out where Master Chief Collection is saved at. So open up Steam if you guys are new to this. 
go to your library and where it says the Master Chief collection right click on that tap on manage and then browse local files and then look at the destination so mine is on my D drive if yours is on a C drive drag the, nu the nucleus folder into the D drive if Master Chief collection is located on your D drive if it's, if it's on your C drive drag the nucleus and place it to your C drive so now that Myon is on my D drive you see the icon here right click on it tap on properties go to compatibility and make sure to run this program as an administrator alright and once you do that step send the icon to your desktop right click on it send to desktop create shortcuts you can have a shortcut here do the same with DualShock 4 the DS4 windows the folder when you see the icon right click on it send to your desktop so you can have the icons up here alright so now that you have that enabled start up the program first is nucleus co-op of course have DS4 open first after your controllers are plugged open up nucleus co-op alright for you guys since you're new to it you're going to have to download the game scripts it's pretty simple click on uh, download game scripts search up here halo search where it says halo the master chief collection by pound and bacon tap on that click on download I'm gonna replace mine I'm gonna override it this window should appear tap on yes and then where you save the Master Chief Collection. So like I said, my own's on the D drive. Your own would be on the C drive located in, I think, Program Files and then Steam. Find your Steam folder. But if you guys can't find it, you have, you're having trouble, head to your Steam. Right click on the Master Chief Collection, Manage, Browse Local Files. And... When you have your local files open, tap here. You should find where you, it saved that. So my own's on my D drive. So I'll go to my D drive under software and then Steam and then I think Steam apps and then common. My own's the Master Chief collection. And then you head on down, I believe MCC, binaries. Windows 64 and it should be the MCC Win64 shipping.exe. So tap on that, open. I already have mine. I'm going to hit yes. Now it's been added. I have two now. Uh, I can remove one actually. I don't need the second one. All right. So once you have it created, when your controllers are plugged in, like I mentioned earlier, mine are on Bluetooth. You can either put two on one by uh, tapping this icon here. You can make it go vertical, or you know you can do four players as well, or six players. Pretty crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Or you can put one player on each screen because I have two monitors. Or you can do dual. So in this case, if you guys don't have two monitors, I'm going to do it like this here. After that, um, hit this. Check out your game options if you want to check it. And then you hit play. And this is what will happen. Closes it. Nucleus will give a command prompt. This small window will appear. Okay, you're going to have to sign in on both accounts. Let's play. Then you can use the controller. So I got one controller here. Got to settle with this one right here. Alright, and then you have to invite one person to the other. So you press X. My game session. I have to invite somebody. So I'm going to hit X on the first player one. Join my other account. Join player. 
and I should be part of his party. And then whoever's the host, you go to campaign, reach, Halo 2 anniversary, Halo 2, let's do Halo 2 anniversary, missions, uh, let's see, outskirts, then you start it. Basically what this is doing is that you're running two instances of Halo. That's why I said you need a strong computer. Okay, so one of the problems that I have is double audio because I was running two instances. You can possibly fix this um, by opening up the sound icon, the volume mixer. Let me just close this real quick. Hey, wake up. And mute one of them. Okay, so I got one controller working. And my screen should be, uh... Well, let me pause my phone real fast. Okay, and now you have split screen. Like I said, when you have a computer, you're going to have to check if um, your computer can run it. This is Halo 2. And now I got two controllers in front of me working. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Why doesn't 343 implement split screen into the Master Chief Collection on PC? I don't know. I think they're just so lazy and they have bad people who don't know how to do computer stuff. Just jokes. Works with Reach as well. Brings back the memories, huh? Okay, and then let's try the original Halo. And there you go, split screen Nothing. on PC. It's so easy. Why doesn't 343 do this? I have no idea. You can always switch to classic as well. All right, so this only works with campaign. I don't think you'll get achievements either. I'm not entirely sure on that part. Let's try Firefight. I haven't tried this. Okay, so Firefight works too. Betrayal. Betrayal. Okay guys, so thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Um, keep the channel alive. Like this if you do like it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye bye.